Hey guys, it's Harley Wood. So today we're gonna take a look at a new light from Nightcore. I don't review a flashlight unless it's something that I find is gonna be particularly interesting. It has to be exceptionally bright. It has to have some sort of feature or functionality that no one else is doing or very few are doing. Otherwise, it's just noise. There's so many great flashlights out there. Try to put stuff in front of you that's not just gonna be rinse and repeat more of the same. So this is the MT-10C from Nightcore. And it's 920 lumens, and it has something that makes it a little bit unique. So um, I went ahead and got a hold of it, and I'm gonna show it to you guys. The 920 lumens has a pretty decent hotspot. I'm gonna take it out back here in a second. I'm gonna compare it to the Thrunite TC12, which is 1100 lumens, as well as my current EDC, which is the Olight S1R Baton 2, which is 1000 lumens. <laughs> so look at this. This is 1100 lumens, 1000 lumens, 920 lumens. Let's get it on the tabletop and go over some of the features and show you what makes this one just a little bit unique and different than everything else out there. There is your close up. Tail cap button. It is tail cap standable. However, the way that that tail cap is cut, it is a little bit unstable, rocks just a little bit. However, it will stand up. So I know some people live or die by whether a flashlight is tail cap standable. So there you go. All right, let's talk about what makes this a little bit unique. So if I turn the light on, watch this, and I'm gonna, here's to make it brighter, and here's to make it dimmer. If I take it all the way down, it actually goes into a red light mode. Now let me turn it off and show you what's going on in here. So you can see the LED right there. And it's hard to tell with this glare, but up there is another little bulb that produces your red light. So you actually get two different light sources in terms of color from the same flashlight. So again, a little bit unique. You push the up button to go up through the brightness levels, push the down button to go down through the brightness levels, eventually to the red. And it has a red beacon mode at the very bottom of the down button cycle. Go all the way to the top. If you hold down, it goes right back to red. If you hold up, it goes right back to 920 full power. When the light is off, if you press and hold both of the up and down button and push the tail cap, it's going to go into that beacon mode. All right, when the light is on, if you press and hold both buttons, it goes into strobe, press it again, it goes into a white location beacon. Pretty cool, a lot of lights don't have that, so I actually do like that it has this location beacon. Press it again, it goes into SOS. All right, so I know that was a lot of functionality to go over. Thank you for sticking with me through that. And I hope you see why I feel like this one's just a little bit unique. Let's take it out back and compare it to those two other lights and then we'll wrap it up. Up first, the Thrunite TC12 at 1100 lumens. I'm gonna move that off to the left here and bring in the night core. You can see the Thrunite over here has a little bit more pronounced hotspot on it, a little bit better defined hotspot. Here's the night core, here's the through night. Let's switch sides with them. Now here's the through night, here's the night core. Through night definitely brighter. 180 lumens brighter, but certainly looks more so. And here's my O light. A little tiny thousand lumen O light. And here is the night core. Night core, O light. This one has a tighter hot spot. This one's got a little bit more flood to it. Let's switch sides with them. Now here's the through night, or excuse me, night core, and here's the O light. 
All right, let's go over our lumen levels. I'm at turbo now, 920 lumens. Press down once, high is 500 lumens. That's mid at 180 lumens. Low is 70 lumens. And they call it the lowest mode, I call it moonlight typically, is one lumen. The red light mode is basically just under a lumen, it's 0.8. And the signal red light is also 0.8. All right, here is your box. It comes with a Cree XML2 U2 LED, 920 lumens. This can run on a single CR123 or 18350 battery. Let's go over some of the stuff that it comes with. It actually comes with a very decent belt holster. A lot of them come with the very flimsy ones. This one is not what I would call one of the flimsy ones. This one has actually got some substance to it. So well done, Nightcore. A typical lanyard, a little pack with an extra tail cap button and some O-rings, and then a sleeve in case you did want to run a CR123, you simply slide it down in the sleeve and that keeps it from rattling around inside the barrel of the light. There is your 700 milliamp hour Nightcore 18350. And the size of this thing. so. It's actually a really good size. It feels great in the hand, especially for a light that has a tail cap um, interface on it, the tail cap button. My S1 Arbiton 2 is my current EDC light. But if you look at the size difference in those there, this one's quite a bit larger. So it's probably pushing the limits of what I would call like a pocket carry EDC. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that say they carry stuff this big, awesome, more power to you. But I don't see the need to carry something that big when you can carry something this big or even this big. Most of the time when I'm getting my flashlight out, it's to look under the seat in my truck or you know whatever. And I don't necessarily need you know some big tactical flashlight because I'm going all FBI SWAT on somebody. Is that a thing, FBI SWAT? Anyway, the, uh, the size on this is actually really nice. It feels substantial in the hand. It's not tiny like this guy. <laughs> you know, like this thing's actually really hard to kind of palm and use. It's more of a, this type of thing. So anyway, th that's my rant there. The size is great. The price on it, just for the flashlight alone, at the time of filming this video, is about $39 and some change. If you want to throw in the 18350 battery with that, I think it's another $7, and they also have an option to include a charger for that 18350, and I think that's another $10. So, a couple different options to choose from. Very competitively priced, especially if you've you know been familiar. Here's the, I get guys, you're gonna see it in the comments, I get guys that say, you know, Surefire's the best and all that. The market's really competitive, guys. Surefire was the thing for a long, long time. They did it best. And I'm not saying they're still not one of the best flashlights on the market, but the price, man, come on, Surefire. Like, bring it down, bring it down. Get it, get it more competitive. Anyway, that's it, guys. The Nightcore MT-10C, about $39, 920 lumens. I'm gonna post a link in the description below where you can get it. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button below. Lots more videos to come, and we'll see you on the next one. Issues with um, the bird out there. Let me get my gun.